Good evening and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story. The high-octane political drama in Nepal may soon be reaching its climax in the next couple of days. Reports indicate that Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Ali informed his cabinet that the Nepal Communist Party is heading towards a split. On Saturday, the Prime Minister met with Nepal's President, Bidya Devi Bandari, following which he convened an emergency cabinet meet at his residence. The message from Prime Minister Ali was clear. The crisis facing the NCP is grave and the party is heading towards a split. Ali promised to keep the party intact until the last moment. He said that rivals were trying to remove some party members and even impeach President Bandari. Ali attributed this deci his decision of adjourning parliament to this impending threat of the president's impeachment. Meanwhile, Prachanda and his supporters in the party are currently holding a meet with President Bedia Bandari. Despite widespread rejection of his leadership, Ali is reportedly intent on holding on to power. The Prime Minister told his cabinet that he would not accept the decision of the party's standing committee, which is scheduled to meet on Monday. This admission by Prime Minister Ali indicates that the standing committee will call for the Prime Minister's resignation. Prime Minister Ali has opened negotiations on multiple fronts to stay in power. Late at night on Saturday, Prime Minister Ali held talks with the President of the Nepali Congress, Sher Bahadur Doba, and sources tell us that the two leaders had met earlier too on the 1st of July. The Vice President of the Nepali Congress has indicated that his party could possibly support Prime Minister Ali if the NCP splits. Now, reports also indicate that Prime Minister Ali's decision to adjourn the parliament had the Nepali Congress's blessings. Within his own party, Ali reached out to NCP's Vice President, Bamdev Gautam, with a rather generous offer. Ali offered to make him the Deputy Prime Minister with charge over the Home Ministry. Reports indicate that Bamdev Gautam was even offered to be made party president and prime minister in the future. However, the offer was rejected by the NCP vice president, who so said he did not trust Prime Minister Ali. NCP standing committee is the most powerful body within the party. Ali's rival, Pushpa Kamal Dahal, or Pratanda, holds significant clout in the standing committee. Party members are unhappy with Ali's performance as prime minister and they have expressly rejected Ali's anti-India rhetoric and called for his immediate resignation. Prime Minister Ali seems to have been boxed into a corner by rival factions within his party, but he may still have a few tricks up his sleeve. We have identified four possible ways in which this political drama in Nepal could unfold. One, Prime Minister Ali could declare a state of emergency to give him the leeway to sort out his political challenges. The emergency order has to be given by the President of Nepal and approved by the Parliament within one month. If the rival faction was indeed gunning for President Bandari's ouster, as claimed by Prime Minister Ali, then chances are that the President will side with him. The second option is to split the Nepali Communist Party and ally with opposition parties in the parliament. Ali has been talking to the Nepali Congress, who seem open to the idea. Three, Ali could swallow his pride and talk business with Prachanda. He may be able to hold on to the prime minister's chair by making considerable concessions to the rival faction. Our sources indicate that Prime Minister Ali and Prachanda could possibly meet at the prime minister's residence later today. Finally, Prime Minister Ali could decide to walk away from the whole controversy by deciding to resign. The Prachanda faction would then be open to take control of the party and possibly the government. Crucially, this move would preserve the unity of the Nepali Communist Party. We are being joined by senior journalist Kosha Raj Korala from Kathmandu. For more on this, good evening to you and thank you for being with us. Now, according to reports, Nepal Prime Minister KP Ali has already informed his cabinet of an impending split. Now, in the event that this split does indeed occur, what will be the most likely outcome? Yeah, you're right. Uh, yesterday, Prime Minister had called his cabinet colleague uh, at his official residence in Balwata, and he informed that there was uh, some serious problem within the party. And uh, he also asked his cabinet mm -hmm. colleagues to uh, 
choose. They wanted to stay with him or they wanted to side with the rival uh, groups in the party. And what he said was their efforts are still underway to force consensus within the party. But in case uh, there were no consensus, then probably he, he indicated that uh, he might um, go for you know, splitting the party as well. But he didn't clearly say that. But what he said was there was some serious problem within the party and uh, you have to decide whether you want to be with me or you want to be with the rival faction. Now, KP Ali has, according to reports, extended an olive branch to the Nepali Congress in case the NCP split does indeed happen, then the vice president of the Nepali Congress has indicated that his party could possibly support Ali. Now, in the event that this does happen, what will change when it comes to Nepal's bilateral relations with India? You know, what happens is like these days, uh, Prime Minister Oli and India apparently uh, doesn't have uh, you know, good relation, especially after this uh, Nepal's recent move to introduce new uh, political map. Uh, but Nepali Congress uh, may help somehow to, you know, act as a bridge between um, the India and uh, the Prime Minister only in that case, uh, because the Nepali Congress uh, has a very good relation with um, the ruling party in India as well. But uh, what I can see is this, uh, the recent, uh, the map issue is uh, actually, you know, owned up by all the political parties. And, uh, if, you know, if they want to settle this issue, they will, ha they will all have to, you know, uh, come up with a common position, how they wanted to, they want to solve this problem. And they have to force a common position here in Nepal, which they already have done. And they have to sit for talks with India. And, you know, in negotiation process, there might be, some kind of, you know, compromises, some kind of, you know, a consensus uh, could be reached between the two sides. Now, Kash, if the NCP does indeed manage to get Prime Minister Ali to resign, how will the Nepali cabinet end up looking? Are elections going to take place or will there be an interim prime minister? So the possible scenario now seems to be like if he is forced to resign from both the position, he may uh, he may introduce an uh, the ordinance. That ordinance will pave way for you know uh, forming or splitting the party, even as he doesn't have uh, enough you know lawmakers in his side. For example, like there is a provision uh, to have at least 40% uh, uh, you know lawmakers and uh, party central member. But if, in that case, like he may introduce an ordinance that will make it easy for him to split the party. And there are also rumors that, that uh, the prime minister also, if he does not see that possibility, prime minister also may uh, take the option of dissolving the parliament. Um, so in that case, you know, it is difficult to predict what happens next. But many, uh, you know, the legal expert, they say that it's not that easy to uh, take a decision to dissolve the parliament. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, the Prime Minister has also not indicated that. He has only indicated that he will just be splitting the party. And once party splits, and there is a possibility of forming a coalition government, uh, not you know going directly to the election. Kash, thank you very much for that report.